why hello hello tonight on the queen channel <laughs> i'm on edm world news i didn't think i was gonna make another one on on billy mcfarland you know the guy from fire festival this is probably like my third video on it because a store keeps popping up some kind of way he keeps ending up in the headlines but billy mcfarland struck a deal to make a broadway musical out of the fire festival can you believe it this is edm world news peyton 3.0's edm world news that is take it away that ain't it take it away Please stand back, the king, queen, sultan of the Milky Way galaxy and EDM is vastly approaching. In five, four, three, two. Hello there, did you miss me? I know you did. Where the candy kids at? Hello. It is Peyton 3.0, the EDM vocal sorcerer, the Queen King Sultan of the Milky Way Galaxy. And so folks, the story is juicy, it's hot. I'm not gonna keep it too long. We're gonna get right into it and let you get right back to your day, night, whatever. Here we go. All right, so Billy McFarlane says he signed a deal to turn the story of Fire Festival into a Broadway musical, folks. Now that's even my jaw's dropping. Let's get right on into it. With 26 million in restitution charges to his name, Fire Festival founder Billy McFarlane is thinking outside the box when it comes to the future of his brand. The story of Billy McFarlane is headed to Broadway. The Fire Festival founder said, it's been nearly a year since McFarlane finished his six year prison sentence. And in that time, he hardly been sitting on his hands. For starters, he is working to shore up 26 million in restitution owed to the victims of 2018 ill-fated fire festival all without being able to act as an officer or director of public a company as per the terms of this settlement agreement with the, the sec okay honey i keep saying y'all this man does not sit it down honey he could be down in the hole in prison and he's still coming up with ideas that that's why you know this man is really an entrepreneur <laughs> you ain't gonna stop him he just made a deal to strike up a, a broadway musical i mean who thinks of that expressing his long-term intentions to execute on the original vision for the endeavor with the right planning and partners. You better go ahead, Mr. McFarlane. Clean up your name. You better go ahead and clean up your name, all right. In the meantime, however, McFarlane has been exploring new avenues for monetization or monetizing the brand, taking to Instagram to reveal no, taking to Instagram, he revealed that he's officially signed a deal to turn his life and experiences surrounding the Bohemian event into a Broadway musical. Okay. Okay. Don't hate the player, hate the game. McFarlane first teased the idea back in May in a video 
interview with Adam Glenn, wherein he described it as, instead of like traditional Broadway actors, it's going to be current music act artists combined with Broadway format of the play, making fun of me, but also I think sharing some of the good sides as well. Okay, all right. The working title for the Broadway show is said to be Fire Festival 1.5. Why is that the title? Can we play that? We might be able to play that. Hold on. Hold on. We might be able to play that. We won't play that. Let me get my headphones on. He got a video for us, folks. He got a video for us. Now if I could just turn this screen round. Let me turn this screen round. <laughs> Not exactly sure if I'm doing that correctly. Audio. We try to move it over. There we go. Something like that. Something. That's what had to be good enough for y'all. Where is the clip? That's it. The fire announcement. I've spoken so much about how as an entrepreneur to get from zero to one, you need to push further and just do more than everybody else. But once you're on base, and once it's time to go from one to 100, things need to change. I am coming up on my one year anniversary since I got out of jail. And not only have I not been on base, but I've been in the absolute gutter People who I knew for my entire life wouldn't speak with me. People who I never met were killing my deals and axing my opportunities behind the scenes. But finally, after fighting for every inch and every meeting, things are finally starting to change. This week, I signed a Broadway musical deal. There is officially going to be a Broadway musical based on me it's and my me. life. Hold on. Can you hear, can y'all guys hear this? What's up guys? Okay. This is an emergency fire announcement. What's up go. guys? From the this beginning. This is an emergency fire announcement. I've spoken so much about how as an entrepreneur to get from zero to one, you need to push further and just do more than everybody else. But once you're on base, and once it's time to go from one to 100, things need to change. I am coming up on my one year anniversary since I got out of jail. And not only have I not been on base, but I've been in the absolute gutter. People who I knew for my entire life wouldn't speak with me. People who I never met were killing my deals and axing my opportunities behind the scenes. But finally, after fighting for every inch and every meeting, things are finally starting to change. This week, I signed a Broadway musical deal. There is officially going to be a Broadway musical based on me and my life. I was also sanctioned for my first ever kickboxing fight. I'll be fighting in November, 
and all the proceeds are going back to those they owe both in the Bahamas and here in the US. Next, the TV show I've been filming, After the Fire, is wrapping up and will be airing in the future. You guys will have a front row seat for all the- I'm not exactly sure. What's up, guys? This Hold is on. an emergency fire announcement. Let me cut the music I've spoken out. I've so much about how as an entrepreneur to get from zero to one, you need to push further and just do more than everybody else. There we What's go. up, guys? This is an emergency fire announcement. I've spoken so much about how as an entrepreneur to get from zero to one, you need to push further and just do more than everybody else. But once you're on base, and once it's time to go from one to 100, things need to change. I am coming up on my one year anniversary since I got out of jail. And not only have I not been on base, but I've been in the absolute gutter. People who I knew for my entire life wouldn't speak with me. People who I never met were killing my deals and axing my opportunities behind the scenes. But finally, after fighting for every inch and every meeting, things are finally starting to change. This week, I signed a Broadway musical deal. There is officially going to be a Broadway musical based on me and my life. I was also sanctioned for my first ever kickboxing fight. I'll be fighting in November, and all the proceeds are going back to those I owe both in the Bahamas and here in the US. Next, the TV show I've been filming, After the Fire, is wrapping up and will be airing in the future. You guys will have a front row seat for all the action and all the plans behind the scenes. And most importantly, Fire 2. You all want to know where, when, and why Fire 2 is happening. I have two big announcements today. The first is that I am canceling the August 26th Fire Hamptons event. We've had so much interest, and after a lot of long, hard, and honest conversations with partners, mentors, backers, and even potential partners for the future, the FIRE vision is just so much bigger than 200 people. The FIRE vision is 10,000 people on one of the best islands in the world with the best talent in the world. The FIRE vision is the best logistics partner who will allow me to go absolutely wild and make our stamp on culture and the future of music festivals. Since 2016, FIRE has had over 32 billion impressions online. That makes us the largest and most talked about festival in the world and over three and a half times larger than the festival in second place. I need to stick to my original vision and take all of the momentum of the great partners and backers that I've gotten over the past few weeks to go all in and focus on fire too. We are here to make history guys. This is my life goal. This is my odyssey and this is my journey. I am putting all of my attention on the Broadway play, the fight, the TV show, and now fire two. Let's make this happen. What's up guys? All right. This is an emergency fire announcement. I've spoken so much about how as an entrepreneur to get from zero to one, you need to push further and just do more than ever. All right. That was Billy McFarlane. First of all, I don't know if you guys seen those comments on the side but people were people are freaking mean. Somebody said, "Just give up. You're you're a scammer, or whatever. Just give it up." Is this guy serious? Somebody was actually interested in the Fest Fire Festival too. Um, I'm gonna make get you guys back on the screen. I don't know what I'm doing here, but we are gonna fix that. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, music. All right. So, anyway, that was the first thing I wanted to say. People are going to be mean when they see you fail, especially if you fail like in front of like everybody. There's these people are mean and the reason why these people are so mean is because these are obviously not entrepreneurs. These are not people that um, understand what it is to start a business and then fail, especially when you fail and you have other people and customers or whatever involved and whatnot and then you bomb. 
And to really truly be an entrepreneur and have that mindset, you gotta constantly be thinking like, how can I make it better? Um, what's the next idea? How can I get everybody back in to trust me? Like you have to be, you have to basically have a, a level of delusion to keep and fail forward. Failing and failing and failing and failing and failing again. Sorry about the green screen. Failing and failing and failing again until you finally succeed. And that's what it takes. Most people probably speaking in that post are employees, right? Who will never ever take the risk that it takes to build your own anything, entrepreneur. And after they felt like that, they would just crawl back into their hole. They would just crawl back into their hole and um, never try again. Cause the embarrassment was just so, so high and it was televised and media coverage that they never try again. They would just go back to working for, I don't know, uh, a wax museum or something, Target or whatever. But this man is an entrepreneur and I have to stand by him 100%. Why? Because somebody like me who has had to get into the mindset of entrepreneur and fail and fail and fail and fail and fail and still failing today. But when I say fail me, fail forward, you, you fail, you try again, you fail, you try again. You have to be so determined. You have to be so determined um, to reach your big dream, your big goal that you're not gonna let no failure stop you. And honestly, you only really fail if you quit and you stop. That's when you're really truly a failure. Not if you keep getting back up and swinging and tweaking and trying this or, or trying it and, and tweaking a different way, right? Until you finally get the right formula that something takes off. I mean, that's really what it is anyway. So anyway, I commend Mr. Billy McFarland and I wish you future success in your endeavors. It's exciting. Congratulate him for getting that Broadway deal. Or do you have uh, something else to say? Let's talk about it in the comment section. <laughs> I want you to think about that. Anyway, this has been Peyton 3.0, the EDM vocal sorcerer. Yes. But before you go anywhere, If you're new, shout out to the Peytonators. Shout out to the Peytonators and the regular people who come to my channel. If you're new, follow these social medias. But as I always do say, social media is dead and it's not coming back. Now it's just a robot game. Who you know, who at the top has chosen you. That's, that's all it is at this point. So to really support really um, talented, hardworking artists, creators such as myself, you, the email list is, is so very important. So please get on the email list and get three free unreleased EDM bangers from me. Easiest way to get on the email list is by going to Peyton30.com. For those of you who are actually into electronic dance music only if you are not but you know the Billy McFarlane case because it was actually it reached the general pop population when it broke about the fire festival story then this won't be for you but if you're of the EDM electronic dance music community I want you to go to my website and then there's a button that says get free free songs you put your email in and you're on the list to receive my wonderful emails. This is the best way for people like us. Um, when I say us, I mean creators, um, musicians like myself to contact and control the conversation because we can no longer really control it on social media. Everything now on social media is a setup. It, think of social media now like Hollywood. You know, Hollywood is fixed, Hollywood is rigged, and now so is social media for the most part. Okay? So thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next episode.
of Peyton 3.0's EDM news. Bye-bye. <laughs>